Huh? Oh god, another nightmare. Jeez. Man, I need to get over this. That was years ago. I got lost in that forest with my buddy Riser. Hey guys, you flying okay? Doing alright? Fine, don't answer me. I don't see how you guys can see out the front of that window. It's foggy as hell. Oh man, but a martini sure will hit the spot right now. A flaming martini. Oh yeah. Yeah, this should, this should calm me down a little bit. The best part about these martinis is the whole cup is edible. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to my seat I guess. I need to get over this. That was years ago when I got lost in that forest with my buddy Riser. All those cannibals and stuff chasing after me. Everything's okay. Huh? What? Oh sh shit! Oh fuck! Not this again! Not this again! Oh please don't tell me this is happening! God. Why won't I ever learn? Never get on any more planes! Journal. Day one. Thankfully, the wind turbine of that airplane knocked me safely to the closest island. As I rode my lifeboat to shore, I took a look around me and realized this was going to be my new home for the next few days. Possibly the next few weeks. Possibly the next few years. I looked around me to take note of what was surrounding. I decided to check what I had on me. A lighter, a knife, and a bottle of water. I was hungry, so the first thing I should do is get some food. I decided to climb the nearest palm tree. I happened to find a few coconuts up the tree. The climb down was relatively safe. I decided I wasn't that hungry, so I would store those coconuts for safekeeping in my life raft. The first thing I needed to do was check some of the downed ships in the nearby area and make sure that there were no usable tools. I found some debris of a ship nearby, and as luck would have it, there was a toolbox with an axe inside. This will surely come in use. If I am to live here, I will need plenty of wood and sticks. I will also need rope to hold them together. This should do nicely. I decided to head into the island a bit more, see what I had to work with. As I wandered further onto the island, 
I discovered that there was yet another survivor on this island besides me. His name was Wally. I decided that we would be best friends from here on out. I decided to put Wally on top of the rock so he could have a nice view of things. Or maybe keep out an eye for a ship. However, Wally was unwilling, so I decided to let him sit in the shade. First thing I need to do if I am to survive on this island is get some wood. I headed to a close by palm tree and chopped it down. I made a checklist in my head of what I would need. I would need to build a campfire for tonight. I would need to build myself a home eventually. I would need to build myself a bed. In order to make things easier, I decided to drag the rest of the tree stump close to my supply area. continue chopping through the morning and I also decided it would use, be useful to have some palm fronds these will surely come in handy if I am to make a roof for my house someday Wally called at me and told me of the tree off in the very corner of the island he said that might be a good tree to use for wood. I agreed. I also decided to take some of the coconuts that fell from it. It's about afternoon now. Not quite. But I did spend the rest of the morning chopping the rest of the tree down. Around noon I had finally completed. I had plenty of sticks to build. However, Wally had caught my attention again. What am I to build with? he asked. I pondered the same question. So therefore I decided to make a hammer. I'll have to use what is available to me. So I went and gathered a few rocks on the beach. With the rocks, the stick, and some lashing, I was able to make myself a crude hammer. It may not be much, but it will do for now. The first thing I started with was a foundation for my house. If I am to live on this island for the next... well, who knows how long. I shall not live in discomfort. I also decided to put a campfire close by for later tonight. Day's almost over, so I decided to use the rest of my time looking for food. As luck would have it, there are some potato plants on this island. I was a bit hungry, so I decided to eat them right then and there. I also decided this night that I wanted crab. Day one, nightfall. Wally and I are enjoying a nice crab meal tonight.
It was very tasty. I am also thirsty, I thought. But I did not want to use my bottle of water just yet. So I decided to drink some coconut juice. I decided I might as well not let the coconut go to waste. So I cut it into two pieces. Then I ate them. Shell and all. Very crunchy. I was not tired and not ready to lay down yet, so I decided to check some more debris I found on the side of the beach, just in case there were some more tools. And again, luck was on my side, for I found a toolbox with a machete inside. This machete will prove useful indeed. Dear Journal, Day 2. Morning time. I've decided I will use today to go search what I assumed was the sunken boat off in the distance when I arrived. I climbed into my life raft. Checked my supplies. And began rowing that direction. I was correct in assuming that it was a sunken boat, because as I rode closer to it, I could see the bow of the ship underneath the water. I laid down my paddle, stood to the edge of my life raft, decided if I were to find anything down there, I would need some inventory space. However, a nearby tiger shark had other plans for me. This tiger shark would prove a problem with me searching this sunken ship. Deciding that I could not swim underwater, I rode back to shore. It doesn't matter anyway, because luck was not on my side today. As I went back to try and search the boat again, a storm came through. I decided to head back to camp. Check on Wally. And make sure he had a nice comfortable spot on the foundation I built the previous day. Seeing as it's raining, I decided to use this time to build the rest of my home so I would have a roof over my head to protect me from the rain. I completed it, and waited out the storm. The day is almost over now. Most of the day was spent building the house, and it was storming. But I decided I would use what sunlight I had left to go search the boat I had been so hard trying to search the whole day. I paddled my way out and finally my luck started to show because I noticed a toolbox on the very front of the ship. I dived in, machete at the ready, searched the toolbox, and found a flashlight. This will surely come in handy. I decided to check the helm of the ship. Old useless books. 
but I did come across a locker which had another axe and a compass. There also seems to be a control cabinet with a fuel tank inside. I did not know if it would come in handy to me, but I took it anyway. I checked the items I had just obtained. The compass works. It will surely come in handy whenever I need to explore some of the other islands I saw in the distance. I did not know if the flashlight worked, so I decided to dive back down and check it. It did. This will come in handy when searching the cabin of the ship, which I happen to come across. Inside I found many flares and another machete. Flashlight still worked even from being underwater. I showed Wally my flashlight. He liked it very much. Having not slept for the past two days, I also decided to build myself a bed. I was a bit hungry, but not so much that it would stop me from sleep. Good night, cruel world. Dear Journal, Day 3 Morning has arrived. And I have made a few plans for today as well. Today I will try to visit one of the other islands I've seen off in the distance. But first, I needed to build myself a crude spear, for I was getting tired of coconuts and crab. Crude spear proved to be useful. For not a few minutes after building, I was able to catch myself a sardine. Wally will be happy tonight. It's time, still early morning. I started rowing my ship toward the island off the distance. However, after five minutes of rowing, I noticed I was not getting any headway. I looked back at my previous island and decided, fuck this, I'm heading back. Screw those other islands. Turns out I made the right decision as it began to rain today as well. I've decided to use the rest of my day to find a way off this island. I am tired of this place. My hard work proved useful. The fruits of my labor have provided me a raft. This raft will surely provide me a way off this island. I've heard of how these rafts will save people from their demise. I went to ask Wally if he would like to come, however he had grown accustomed to this island life. So I decided to leave him in the house. I said my goodbyes to him, headed to my raft, then turned and looked at what I had lived on the last three days. Goodbye, island. Now I heard, in order for these rafts to work, you must stand atop them and grip them firmly. Let us see if this will work. 
after a first few failed tries. Again, my hard work had proved successful. The raft will take me to my freedom. Goodbye, island. Farewell. I'm off to a better place. Wait, what is this? What happened? Where am I? Am I on a... Am I in a different realm? Did I teleport? What? Wait. Shit! <laughs>